I think there's days that are tough. Of course, everyone has a tough day. But I just remember this is why I play is because I love the game. Big love to all the dads out there, all the soccer dads. Your dad, Michael, did it for you and coached you from wee little Morgan Weaver to tween Morgan Re Weaver. Um, he still coaches me today. What yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> I just talk about that. I mean, does he every game, is he calling you? I got the phone with dad? Well, he's here almost every home game usually. They're always here. Um, but I w usually will call him and be like, oh, what do you think of this? And he'll give me his two cents. But sometimes, like, I just, like, always keep it in the back of my head. But he's more just, like, trying to encourage me and, like, continue playing well. So that's, like, really fun. But... And I was in a little baby carrier with him like when he coached my cousins, so I've always been around soccer. He knocked my two front teeth out when he was trying to show me how to play, hip check some people when I was like five. So I'm, there's a picture of me for my first year of soccer with two little pigtails and my front teeth missing. <laughs> Don't mess with that Weaver kid <laughs> or dad. Yeah, well, I like ran 100% and I was like, I'm gonna get you and went like this to him and I just, Obviously, your dad, you're going to bounce off them, or still this day you bounce off people. I bounced, and I just went flying, and my two front teeth hit the soccer ball and went, Thing! it's my favorite soccer story ever. <laughs> and he gets so bad because I tell everyone it. <laughs> I'm sure he's, it's mortifying to him to this day. So. <laughs> he laughs. You've always been a tough kid, though, and that comes from your mom, Jana, your dad. Yeah, my mom's wild. She's tough as nails. Don't beat her in bowling. She'll kick your butt. Bowling? That's the one? Yeah. She doesn't like to lose in bowling. Good thing you didn't get hit in the teeth with the bowling ball or the soccer ball. That would have been a lot worse. So now that you're a coach yourself, coaching, uh, help assistant coach kids in Lake Oswego. Yes. How much of what your dad taught you has rubbed off onto you as Coach Weaver? I think a lot. I mean, it's funny because I'll talk to him like, okay, so you coached this age before. Like, what did you do to help them in this aspect? Because sometimes I get, I'm like, well, I play at such a high level where I'm like, these girls should be here. Like, they should be playing faster. But then I'm like, no, they're only 13 years old. They can't play like this yet. Yeah. Like, we need to start at the fundamentals and just, like, work their way up. And so I just ask him what his little tricks were. And so I steal some of his tricks. Such as? Well, just, like, little things, like, just getting the girls to understand how f they need to kick the ball in the air. We play games. He always played games with us as kids, and so I just, like, bring some of the games for them to play. What do you think that is for them to be around a professional athlete like yourself? Because, you know, you're not old, but in your time, the, the rain didn't exist in Seattle, yeah. right? You didn't have that opportunity, so what do you think the opportunity is for them to be so close to the pros? This is my little player, JJ. Oh, is Morgan your coach? I think they love it, which is really funny because they all just know me as Morgan now, and I don't think they really are like, oh, she's a professional athlete. Like, they just see me as me. And so it's really funny when we play, like, other teams or, like, anyone else. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, is that Morgan Weaver? And all my girls are like, yeah, it is. Do you want a picture? <laughs> <laughs> like, they're just, like, yeah. so, like, whatever about it. Or, like, yeah. they'll be like, Morgan, we got you first, though. And I'm like, yes, you did. Yeah. You did. But I can take pictures with everyone else. Any shout-out to your dad you want to have? Hey, Dad, love you. Cool. Morgan. Hopefully he sees us. <laughs>